Hello everybody, in this video, which is very short, I want to talk about a small uh, point, a, a question brought up by one of my students in my programming, MATLAB programming class today, which is a really good question. And the question is this, uh, you know that in MATLAB we have epsilon, right, which is 2.22 times 10 to the negative 16. And basically, it shows that any number below this epsilon, when you are using it in arithmetic, is practically considered zero. So, for example, if I say 2 plus epsilon, you see the answer is what? 2. So, really, it's like the, this number is practically considered like zero. Okay? So, you see, it doesn't count. Or if it has more decimals... So it's like 10 to the negative 19 or something. And if I add a 2 to it, so still considers 2. So MATLAB uh, by default only goes to 16 decimal places for arithmetic. Now about the storage, it has no problem storing numbers smaller than epsilon in magnitude. But when you add or subtract them or use them in arithmetic, it doesn't really count them. So here, I can create a variable Q1, which is, for example, the charge of an electron, like 1.6, right, e to the negative 19, right, so uh, in coulombs, and it has no problem, you see, it is a store in it, right, no worries. If I create another variable, Q2, and this is like the charge of two electrons, so it's going to be 3.2 e to the negative 19. It stores it. Can I add them together? For sure. Look here. I add them together and call it Q3. And you see that it is doing the job. Okay? It is doing the job. So you might say, what's the problem then? I can store numbers in magnitude smaller than epsilon. I can add them together and so on. Yes. Adding them together, they have the same kind of magnitude, they have the same number of decimals, is fine. But if I have like a huge charge that is like one column, right, and I add it to Q1, and now I want to see the result, the result is 1. You might say, well, here you're not showing all of the decimal places. Go ahead and use format long, so it shows all of the 16 decimals. Now, repeat the operation, and you see I do, still there is nothing. So practically, the charge of the electron in comparison to one column is practically not considered. So how can I do that? If I really want to say the total charge I have is one plus one coulomb plus the charge of one electron, which is one plus 1 1.6 times 10 to the 19, how can I add them together without losing that small charge? The answer is the command VPA, which is variable precision arithmetic. So here, if I say variable precision arithmetic of 1 and 20, what does it mean? It means use number 1, but in 20 uh, meaningful places. So 1 is just for the number 1, and the other 19 will be 19 decimals after the decimal point. So here, I'm showing 1, then a dot, and then 19 zeros. So I'm showing 1 with 19 places decimal and now since it's variable precision arithmetic if I add that to Q1 it should not just neglect Q1 and not consider it look here you see I have 1 and then I have that 1.6 times 10 to the 19 negative 19 so if I want to use uh, that um, Q1 and not just ignore it and add it to a number much bigger than itself, then I you make sure that big number, I give it enough decimals to match the decimals of this small number and use the VPA command and then do it together. And this VPA has no limitations. You can use as many decimals as you want. So again, small numbers storage, you have no problem. Adding and subtracting the small numbers together is fine. But if you add and subtract them to big numbers, you have to use the VPA command so that those numbers are not basically uh, neglected in or taken as zero. So hopefully this was useful to you, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.